Hi, I'm Andrew Childers for Tuts Plus. Today we're talking about using Photo Mechanic with Adobe Lightroom. So why use Photo Mechanic at all? The answer is it's all about speed. I'm working with the recent set of images here and you can see as I flip through them, it's loading all of them instantly as I'm using the arrow keys to switch between them. These are raw images and I'm switching between them with no lag at all. Photo Mechanic is a great tool to review and mark the images you want to work with. It doesn't offer correction tools or ways to adjust the look of your images, so it works best with another app in tandem. Because of the speed, I think a great workflow is to use Photo Mechanic to review and then send your selections over to Lightroom for raw image processing. We'll use star ratings and color labels, one bit of metadata that carries over between the apps to do just that. Let's learn how to do it. So we need to make a couple of tweaks to make this work the way I want to. First, let's hook Photo Mechanic up to Lightroom in the Preferences. I'm going to go up to the Photo Mechanic Preferences menu. This is where all of the settings live. So first, let's click this drop down and choose Launching from the list of Preferences. I'm going to look at this Default Application to Edit Photos section and choose Assign Default Application. We're basically telling Photo Mechanic, when we send images to an external editor, this is the app we want to use. So I'll press choose and then go ahead and browse for Adobe Lightroom on my computer. I'll go ahead and choose Adobe Lightroom and now we've told Photo Mechanic that this is the other editor we want to use along with it. So the next tweak that I'll make is to change the color labels that Photo Mechanic uses. If you're familiar with Lightroom's color labels, you probably know that they are red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. If I switch the drop down option to the general section, you'll see here that the default colors in Photo Mechanic aren't the default colors in Lightroom. So we'll need to change these over so that we can send images with a certain color label seamlessly over to Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and press this lightning bolt arrow and go ahead and choose Adobe Lightroom from the drop down. Now the color labels that we're using match the ones in Lightroom. Of course, we won't use the cyan, brown, and gray ones. Instead, we'll just use the red through purple ones. One last tweak, let's change the keyboard shortcuts to be easier to use. Let's again return to the Preferences dropdown and this time choose Accessibility. I'm going to change the keyboard shortcuts to 0 to 5 sets rating. This is a totally optional tweak, but it makes the keyboard shortcuts most similar to Lightroom. Ok, we're all done setting up our options and can get on to the exciting part. Let's press OK and we'll jump back to Photo Mechanics Image Viewer. From this screen, I can press the number of keys between 1 and 5 to add a corresponding number of stars. If I press 4 for example, you'll see that 4 stars show up on the image at the bottom and on the sidebar. Remember that all of these changes we're making will show up when we send the image over to Lightroom. We can use star ratings to color our images or basically cut down the ones that we want to keep working with. On the Lightroom side, I might use flags to cull, but we can't carry that data over from Photo Mechanic to Lightroom. So in place of that, we could use a star rating instead. The key is that whatever star rating I'm applying will show in Lightroom. Let's keep it simple and just use one star to signal any image that we want to work with in Lightroom. I can use the arrow keys to flip between these images really quickly and press the one number key on my keyboard in order to add that one star rating. We're using this just to mark any image that's worth sending over to Lightroom. In this way, we might take a full shoot in Photo Mechanic, work through the ones we think are worth working with, and then send those over to Lightroom. The speed advantage of Photo Mechanic makes it an ideal choice for this stage. I love Lightroom, but this type of speed just isn't possible with it. Another bit of data that we'll carry over from Photo Mechanic to Lightroom are the color labels. Now these are added with the keyboard shortcut Command plus a number. So with this image selected, I can press Command plus 1 to add a red color label. I'll press the down arrow key to select another image, then Command 2 to add a yellow color label, Command 3 to add a green color label, Command 4 to add a blue color label, and Command 5 to add a purple color label. So the keyboard shortcuts that we're working with here are 1 through 5 to add a star rating or Command plus 1 through 5 to add a color label. So let's say that we've finished up reviewing our images and now we're ready to send them over to Adobe Lightroom. I'm in the preview window here, which I'm going to close just by pressing escape, and now we're back at the contact sheet view. Let's go ahead and filter for our one star images. The filtering options live in the lower right corner of Photo Mechanic. 
To filter for any of these criteria, I can just hold Alt on the keyboard and press the item that we want to filter for. So if I hold Alt and click on one star, for example, it only shows us the images that have one star. Now if I held Alt and clicked on four stars, for example, it would switch to just the images that have four stars. However, if we aren't holding Alt and we click on another selection criteria, it adds it to the filter. The key idea is that if you hold Alt, you're filtering for just one item, or you can toggle multiple things on by clicking on them. So now we have a small subset of images selected that we're ready to send over to Adobe Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and choose Edit, Select All to select all of the images. Now they're ready to send over to Lightroom. Let's go ahead and go up to the Image, Edit Photos option, and once I do that, it'll say, do you really want to edit all of the selected photos? I'll go ahead and click Yes. Now Lightroom will begin loading up, and when it opens, we're at the Import window. Now although it's selected all of the images that are in my shoot folder, it only has checked the ones that we sent over from Photo Mechanic. So when I press import, it's only going to carry through the same images that we were just looking at. And notice that it's carried through the star ratings and color labels that we set up at an earlier stage. You see the red color label just as it appears in Photo Mechanic for this one image, and all of the images have either the one or the four stars that we added to it. That's it. If you need to bring some more speed to your workflow, Photo Mechanic might just be the way to do it. And as it turns out, it works incredibly well with Lightroom. Thanks so much for joining me.